Hello, everybody. We are finishing up week one of the Discovering the Bible Together Challenge. Our theme has been our majestic and gracious God, and today's reading comes from Psalm 23. So you can follow along with me. This is a familiar psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the, the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. What a great psalm that is. And it does speak to our majestic and gracious God. And I entitled the reflection for this passage, My Shepherd. <clears throat> well, I love this psalm, don't you? It paints yet another picture of our wonderful creator. He shepherds us and cares for us more than we could ever imagine. His grace is without limit. It says, I have all that I need. There is so much richness in this psalm. I could probably write a whole series of reflections on the different sections. Take some time today to go back and read through Psalm 23 a couple of times if you can. Let it, let it speak to your heart. How do you see God a little differently when you see him as your shepherd? We are all needing rest and refreshment, yes? How do I know? Well, I'm retired, living in the mountains of Mexico, and I treasure my moments of refreshment with my shepherd. If I still feel the need for rest, I'm quite sure that busy professionals, harried students, and underappreciated ministry leaders around the world are also feeling the call to rest. What better way to rest than to crawl up in the lap of our Father God? Think of that. Remember to leave your burdens at his feet first. What a safe place. Although walking along a peaceful stream with God sounds good too. What a giving God we have. It says, my cup overflows with blessings. Look around your surroundings. Unless you're living under a rock, you have been richly blessed. Whether it's the dream house you've always wanted, or a piece of cardboard helping you fend off the elements. God has provided for you. How do you respond to him for all these blessings? Well, our journey through this life is only a preparation for the glorious forever we'll spend with God. I love how the psalmist calls out this promise. I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Well, in John 14, verses 2 and 3, Jesus tells us, There is more than enough room in my Father's home. If this were not so, I would have told you. Or if this were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? When everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will always be with me where I am. What a great promise from Jesus. What a glorious psalm also to bring us refreshment and promise, the promise of eternal life. When we, when we see the world caving in all around us, we don't need to fear. We don't need to be afraid because our God, our shepherd, is walking right beside us. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for the beautiful promises you have for me in this psalm.
Forgive me when I lose my trust in you and let fear creep in. I know you protect me from so many things I can't even see. Thank you for the special place you are preparing just for me. I look forward to that day when everything is ready. Help me rest in you and your grace until that day. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, be blessed. Stay tuned for week two. We'll be starting that right very soon.